Hello everyone, this is Jake from Down the Weeble Hole, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. I can't believe it has already been two years since I saw the atrocity that is Rental Girlfriend Season 1. This anime was the worst thing I watched in 2020, and it's back for a second season. Has this second season changed my opinion, or has it made me hate the series even more? By the title of this video, I'm pretty sure you can already figure out the answer. Here is a quick synopsis of the story for those who don't want to waste their time. Best girl Mami-chan breaks up with her loser boyfriend Kinoshita Kazuya. Kazuya is depressed about the breakup and decides to rent a girlfriend. This rental girlfriend named Chizuru is the daughter of his grandmother's friend. The two visit their grandmothers together at the hospital while they are on their rental date, and the grandmothers believe they are actually dating. In order to not break their grandmother's hearts, they pretend they're a couple after the two old women take a liking to each other's grandchild, and now we watch these two in a fake relationship. But oh no. Kazuya has actually fallen in love with Chizuru, and now we are forced to watch their blossoming... Ro romance? No, that's not right. That's better. Also, there's this girl named Ruka who blackmails Kazuya into dating her after learning that Kazuya and Chizuru are pretending to be in a relationship. And there's this girl. I don't know what her name is, so I'll just call her Plank. Now, I've always been forward about my disdain about the concept of renting girlfriends. I don't think it's a very healthy practice, especially for people like Kazuya. He is in a very bad place in his life, and I don't think renting fake girlfriends is helping him any. I could see the benefit of renting a girlfriend as practice for dates and using the information you gain to get a real girlfriend. That's okay, I can rationalize that mentality, but when you're using the service to fill loneliness, that's when I take issue. It's much better to make authentic relationships, and I understand maybe some people have difficulties making friends or dating, but you should know that you have worth, and you shouldn't have to pay someone just so they'll spend some time with you. You should find friends or significant others that will see your worth and be happy to have you in their lives. It is harder than just paying someone to pretend, but the authentic experience will be so incredible and more worthwhile. And I find it really ironic that Mommy, a character a lot of people don't like, is the only person in this anime who tells Kazuya to stop renting girlfriends, get a real girlfriend, and stop wasting his youth. This is my major issue with this series, the glorification of renting girlfriends. This season begins with Kazuya going to one of Shizuru's plays. He's very enamored by her and he sees that she has a lot of talent and wants to support her. But instead of trying to become a friend that she can rely on, he tells her that he's going to become her pay pig and keep renting her so she has money to keep pursuing her dreams of becoming an actress. The anime displays this as a cute moment with the music and the visuals, but how is this romantic in any way? We're implied to see Kazuya as selfless in this moment for wanting to help Chizuru, but he comes off incredibly selfish. Because we know he wants to date her, the action of renting her comes off as him wanting to further his own ambition. We know that he wants to spend time with her and hopefully date her, so renting her benefits him. If he actually cared about her and the show wanted to show his selflessness, he would actually get to know the real person, become her friend, and drop this renting crap and risk losing the fantasy of dating her. And then the episode ends with him making a rental date, and I'm supposed to believe that this is cute and supportive? That's just the major issue with Kazuya. How am I supposed to feel about this guy? Is he a selfless dude or is he just pathetic and has alternative motives? I think this series wants us to think of Kazuya as a sort of grey character, who wants to improve himself but finds himself picking the wrong choices, and that is relatable, but some of the choices Kazuya makes just don't feel like they're in character, and in some cases, the dude is an actual pile of trash. If he wants to simp for Chizuru and put all his time into it, that's on him. But the way he treats Ruka is absolutely vile. This woman has a sincere interest in Kazuya, and he just acts like she isn't human. In one episode, she comes over to his apartment, and he doesn't want her there, and doesn't have the will or respect to tell her to go away. I know Ruka is supposed to be this foil, and she has this power to expose Kazuya and Chizuru, but it's such an awful plot device. It ruins Ruka's character, and it ruins Kazuya's character. Kazuya has been displayed as this really pathetic horn dog, and he has this cute girl at his apartment, and he just doesn't want to go to the bone zone with her. It makes no sense. 
he has shown and said that he's attracted to her and that he's also this guy who wants to get some but he's like no Chizuru is my queen and his constant denying of Ruka's advances makes her look pathetic but I just have sympathy for her she just wants a normal relationship and Kazuya has agreed to date her and he's mistreating her so badly he would rather live in fantasy than face reality and I wish the anime explored this dynamic Kazuya's obsession with a rental girlfriend instead of a real girlfriend could make for a great psychological exploration of why living in fantasy could be detrimental to one's life. An example of this is the episode where Kazuya wants to relive his high school days where he didn't have a girlfriend. He makes Chizuru dress up as a high school girl and he also dresses in high school attire and the anime is trying to display this as cute, but it's just creepy. It shows a man who didn't get what he wanted as a teenager and instead of accepting it, he is trying to live it out now. The worst part is that he's paying for this experience and it's just pathetic. I wish the anime dived into Kazuya's psyche about wanting to live out these lost moments and explain why it's so important to him. So I'm gonna switch gears right now and discuss something positive. I actually started to like Chizuru this season. I really enjoyed seeing how hardworking she is, I enjoyed her backstory with her grandfather, and she felt more like a character instead of an idol. And I kept wishing that she was the protagonist. I enjoyed watching her struggle with becoming an actress and balancing that time with being a rental girlfriend. And why have we not explored how she views romance? She's going on all these dates and putting up this facade every time. It must be so tiring, and she mentions that she hasn't had any bad experiences on these dates. But wouldn't it be so much more interesting seeing how being a rental girlfriend has warped her views on dating and her perception of men? Maybe we'll dive into this subject later on in the series? I hope so, because I feel like that will help turn her into a more interesting character. A character who is in desperate need of development is Plank. Plank is just there to be cute. She has a spotlight episode later on in the season, and I think Plank is starting to become a little bit more interesting. I think she probably has the best chemistry with Kazuya out of the four girls. Plank's shyness allows Kazuya's kindness to come through, but the anime ruins what could be cute scenes by making Kazuya have lewd thoughts about Plank. I thought Chizuru was your queen, bro. Besides the story itself, the pacing is very atrocious this season. It feels like nothing happens, and from what I've heard, the series just keeps going, and going, and going, and going, and going. There are small developments this season, but for the most part, besides some things that happen towards the final episodes, I feel like not much progress has happened story-wise. The animation is nothing special, pretty standard for rom-coms. I think the OST is great, and the voice actors all do a phenomenal job. I feel like a lot of hard work goes into this anime, but the story just drags it down. So, I don't think Rent a Girlfriend is a good anime. I think it's poorly written, but there's a lot of fun in discussing it and where it could be improved, so I think there's something of value there. I'm curious to know what you all think of the series and what you thought of Season 2. I'm going to give Rent a Girlfriend Season 2 a uh, I wish I was watching Toradora instead out of 10. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and if you want to talk to me directly about Rental Girlfriend or any other anime, come join the Discord. But please don't talk to me about Rental Girlfriend. Now take care everyone.